just a little left over from that IHC engine series on these fuel pumps for these uh, type M's one and a half horsepower in particular and the uh, big check ball is uh, what three eighths I think it is and the little one is a five sixteenths but anyway let's get that aside and just a short add on what this is is, is we're, we're, going, we're putting this fuel pump right here this is the one we're going to use we're going to put it on this bailing water engine but just a carryover and to clean the workbench I'll show you something from that IHC series on the fuel pumps a real quick one uh, this is the first model fuel pump it's cast iron it, the, the ball in this one is in this in this check valve out here you take that off to get down in there to that check ball and the other one is down in this plunger bowl right here right about right in there and, and I do got a cutaway right there we're going to talk about that but this is the early model which would mount from the stud to the front and then they came up with this one right here it's that obnoxious pop metal fuel pump some kind of zinc composition they tell me oh it's uh it's it's not good even the cutaway you can see the the voids in it and uh, but they deteriorate really bad but this is the same configuration as the other one with the forked plunger the other one early models pretty much all of them had the brass uh, packing gland in them the later ones had the some low grade of aluminum or pop metal most likely a casting uh, the uh, the check ball in this one is in this in this uh, outlet right here check ball right there and a check ball down here just wait a second model with the forked uh, plunger and then they came along with this one right here that you could that you could you, you could pump it up you just leave it right here you pumped up this is the one that you used with the eccentric strap that had the roller on it and that little roller would ride right here and when that eccentric come around it would it would make this go up and down and pump your fuel pump the other one operated off of the the roller cam off of this roller here but this one's the same way uh, the check ball right here goes in from this way and the check ball down here and you can see how that one right there is deteriorating and this one has the outlet coming to the front as opposed to this one that has the forked lever because if the outlet come on up here it would interfere with this with this right here so they they just cast it out to the front there for clearance but this is the other model and this one this one here this was the exhaust push rod eccentric that roller there rides on your cam and makes that go all of these rollers and this Y yoke part here are the same on all of them that pins the same but these are different but this one and this one was the one that mounted to the rear and this would have went in the other boat up here away from this it didn't didn't make contact there that's that model okay now this one right here is the is the other model and it does the same thing roller this this part here the yoke and the roller and the pin everything's the same but the uh, this uh, this arm right here is different as you can see the whole fuel pumps big but this was the last very short-lived fuel pump and all of the all of these fuel pumps if i might add are equal as good as th there's not one of these fuel pumps that are better than the other one it's totally based on condition if you have the very first one if you have this one right here that's in good condition then this is a really good fuel pump right here these works really good if it's in good condition where, where the problem arises is that they're wore out let's get on to these cutaway right here and like I say this is the fuel pump that we're going to use the um, cutaway is 
the, the other model that had the outlet to come on the front. So you can just ignore that, this front part. Just kind of visualize it right there. And that's, that's this right here, cut half in two. And one of the things that, that, that I'll bring to your attention immediately is let's get the caliper zeroed out there. And this this area right in there, that little skinny place around through there, when you look down in yonder, when you take your flashlight and you look down in that hole yonder, you can you can you can readily see it down in there. You can see what your seat looks like, and that seat is it's it's cut at a 90 degree angle. This seat right down here, it's a it's 90 degrees. The uh, uh, if I let's see now, we 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 we, we want to get this right. But uh, the, the, the caliper here, the first thing that you want to do when you take one of these apart and look down in there and see how bad it looks, the first thing you want to do is to run a drill bit down in there and, 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 and cut you a new seat. Well, the angle on a drill bit that you're going to have in your box, sir, it most likely is going, not going to be the correct angle. And when you try to, when you try to cut that new seat, the angle is not right. Now, I did go ahead and grind this bit right here. That's at a 90 degrees, which which is this right here. And if you put that right up there, it's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a 90 degrees. And if you run that down in there and turn it, that would be the correct angle. But it's, it's almost impossible to cut that seat with a drill bit without getting chatter in there. And if you get the least bit of chatter, then the little serrations will let the uh, fuel leak back. So that seat needs to be a perfect seat. The this right here works on some of them, and that's just a piece of Scotch Brite on a on a piece of wire uh, fixed there where it won't turn. It's flattened on the end, and you put that down in there and 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 turn it uh, to brighten up your seat. It works to some extent. Also, a, a 90 degree countersink, this one happens to be a single flute, works really good. Uh, you, you can cut a really good seat with the countersink, which is pretty much the correct tool to use. The um, zeroed out, and what I wanted to bring your attention to is this little bitty cutaway right there. That's the way they're casted. All of them are like this. And if you saw one and two, and the reason that you don't run that drill bit down in there and cut that seat is, is the, the how much clearance you got right there. And if you put this, if you put this caliper right there and get your measurement, okay, let's get it right. Okay, I'm gonna tighten that up. Okay, I show it to you. It's thirty-six thousandths. That's how thick that housing is in this area right here. It's thirty-six. It's this is housing right here. That material right there is thirty-six thousandths of an inch thick. Oh, it's paper thin. And the least, the least little bit of cutting that. Over on the edge, right yonder, and then you'll 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 have a hole in it right there. So so just be mindful how thin that housing is. To be out of mind, let's let's discourage this in view. This this is actually this fuel pump right here, and the the three eighths ball goes right there. And the 5 sixteenths goes right there. That's where those two balls, the position they will be in. Okay, the fuel, this plunger, this plunger will be right here. 
and when the plunger pulls up it it pulls a vacuum on this chamber right here pulls a vacuum and it don't move very much it's just you know that much very short stroke but it, when it does that it pulls that vacuum okay that vacuum in turns pulls the fuel in here up around this ball because the vacuum actually pulled this ball down blocking off this passage so this was the least resistance and it filled up that chamber of that much gas okay on the downward stroke when it pushed that down there that fuel had to go somewhere so this ball here checked it in the bottom from going back to the tank and this one up here the being least resistance the fuel went out this way to the mixer or carburetor whichever you prefer it to simple as it works that's the way this the fuel pumps works but the, the important over oh, this uh let's, let's, let's don't leave nothing out this ball over here got the spring in it like that and on this particular one right here it it had this it has this fitting in right in here okay now you will find them where it does not have that spring it'll only have the fitting in here and you can see that some this one right here is serrated and all of those serrations is there in case it pushes that ball up there against that it won't check on the upward stroke but the spring in there is a big asset in securing the leak back from the mixer bowl and this spring right here also too this is a very very low tension spring if you put a too high tension spring in here you actually defeat the purpose it won't pump up it 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 will make your it will make your fuel pump if this spring is too tight it will make the fuel pump leak around the packing just keep that in mind this spring right here is it's it's almost nothing if it's more than nothing then it's too strong it's just enough it's just and i make a point of this right here this spring is just enough to keep this ball on seat that's all but I just want to bring this cut away. Oh yes, and this uh, material, when when you whatever that's made out of, most and 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 this this pumps in harm's way to begin with. They mounted it too low on the engine. It was, I, I guess, the engineer was asleep when they mounted it as low as they did because if it's not on a skid, the least side over over rocking motion will break the fuel pump. And it's down there. If it's sitting on the ground with no skid, it just moisture is what deteriorated these in storage and uh, and and most of them that you see broken they will they will have a lot of uh it looks like the metal was too hot little bubbles in it little air bubbles uh, this one has quite a few especially in the thicker sections okay let's 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 uh let's pack this pump here